This is a true story. It happened to a friend of a friend of mine. An old friend, Arnold, who I met one summer at camp. Well, Arnold considered himself a pretty special kid on account that there was nothing he wouldn't do. Jump off the highest dock, curse splash, swallow a snail, yum, why he even ate the chef's mystery special. Now, Arnold thought all these things made him Mr. Big Shot, but truth be told, most people thought he was a, well, lunkhead. Well, one day during a hike in the woods, Arnold got himself a notion. Betcha I can climb that there tree, he said. But that tree was a 60-foot redwood, the tallest tree in the forest. And no sooner than you could say lunkhead, Arnold was off, scrambling up the tree like some kind of monkey. Now, I guess the lack of brains made it easy for him. He kept going higher and higher until we couldn't see him anymore. Then our counselors showed up. They told us to get going. We had to make it back to camp before nightfall. And, of course, they wouldn't listen to our screaming about Arnold. By now, Arnold was so high up he couldn't hear anyone. And when he climbed back down, we had already packed up and left. Well, I better go find those guys, said Arnold. It'd be a shame if they started missing me. So, off Arnold went. It was getting dark by the time we got back, and suddenly the counselors realized that Arnold was missing. They started to get real worried because no one should be out in the forest at night. There were stories told about strange things happening out there in the woods. The same stories that were going around in Arnold's head, making him even more lost. He'd found that very same redwood tree five times now. Suddenly, a twig cracked. Something was in the bushes and coming closer. Maybe the campfire stories were true. Arnold struck a karate pose, ready to defend himself against hideous forest creatures when three very old grannies stepped out of the mist. Something the matter, dearie? One of them said. They told Arnold how they'd been out collecting mushrooms when they spotted him. Arnold explained how he'd been deserted by his counselors, and the grannies kindly offered to put him up for the night in their cottage. The old grannies lived in the middle of the deepest and darkest part of the forest. They said it was very private and close to all the very best mushroom patches. Inside from floor to ceiling were shelves and shelves of jars filled with every kind of fungus and plant you could imagine. The grannies explained they were all herbs and spices which they used to add a bit of the unusual to their meals. You must really enjoy cooking, said Arnold. Would you like a meal, young man? You must be starving, said one. You look cold, said another. We have just a thing to warm you up, said the third. In the next room, the grannies proudly showed Arnold the largest hot tub he had ever seen. It was homemade, they said. Great for soaking their bunions after long walks in the woods. So there sat Arnold, soaking away in the bubbling water, trying not to think about the old granny's bunions. <laughs> they sure were nice ladies, even if they were a tad strange. He could hear them talking in the kitchen about what a nice young man and how long it had been since they'd had anyone for dinner. The granny sounded very excited, cackling away as they sharpened their knives. Something about that place reminded Arnold about those old campfire stories. Wasn't there one about a boy lost in the forest and witches who liked eating? Nah, couldn't be. These were grannies, not witches. Grannies with scary black cats and bottles of funguses and... The door opened and Arnold jumped. A granny said she needed her broom to sweep up before dinner. We're almost ready for you, she croaked. No reason to worry, Arnold told himself. Just spooky old grannies with black cats, brooms, and this big giant pot he was sitting in. They weren't warming him up, they were cooking him. He had to get out of here before tonight's meal was poached. Arnold! Then the doorknob rattled. He was trapped. Arnold looked around and saw his chance. He opened a jar of spice and threw it in the air. The granny started to sneeze. He leaped from the pot, through a window, and away through the forest as fast as he could go. The sweet old granny stood there holding a freshly baked dish of maple walnut meatloaf with parsley parsnips. What was wrong with that boy? Didn't he like meatloaf? Maybe he's a vegetarian. This is a true story. It happened to a friend of a friend of mine, Arnold, who we found the next morning shivering under the redwood. He doesn't go on hikes anymore, and whenever he sees old ladies, he screams and hides way up in a tree. While you were gone, Mr. 